Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you my first process automation or unattended automation that I built in RPA Studio. It's not connected to my instance. I'm trying to learn this RPA or robotic process automation in small chunks. I'm going to eat the elephant a little bit at the time. And as I learn this, I'm going to share it with you here on YouTube. So um, in this video, I did something simple. I said, I just need to get understand how this user interface works, how I do things on here. And uh, I'm going to show you what I learned. So first thing I did um, in another video, I showed you I installed RPA Studio. This time I did an unattended automation um, so I could start fooling around and messing around with how this works. My use case here so far is I've created a Word document and saved it somewhere on my uh, PC and then I'm going to open it and then export it to PDF. So to get here, what I did is I added a connector uh, for Microsoft Word. So again, in the previous video, I showed the toolbox as we went through all the different things that you can do um, over there on the left. One of those um, was Microsoft Word. So if you see right there, I've got Excel, I've got Outlook, I've got Word. And so what I did is you take this Microsoft Word and you drag it all the way over to the right to the global objects uh, folder in your project explorer. When I did that, when I click on or double click on Microsoft Word, I get a new panel of all the methods, the things that I can do with Microsoft Word. So this is new. I didn't show this in my last video. You could see there I got add a footer, add a header. I could do things with rows and pages and tables, export to PDF. In this demo, that's what I did there. I can find, I can get a table, insert new rows. Is it open? I can replace bookmarks, save as, um, set a table. I'm just all kinds of things, right? Somebody really thought through all the things that you might want to do in Microsoft Word. So I dragged those onto the canvas, I connected these little dots so it happened in this particular order, and then I just double clicked on these fields to uh, populate those. So what does that look like if we do an export to PDF? I'll just drag it on here anywhere on the canvas so you can see it. Um, it tells me I need to put a file path in there and it needs to be a string. So that you can kind of get an idea there, you could probably start passing some parameters or some values instead of hard coding it like I did. So again, to hard code, you just double click. But let's go ahead and delete that off of here, not the point, and I wanna show you what this looks like. So my document that I got is right here. It's numberscoloringbook.docx and essentially it's uh, this template that I found on Microsoft Word and it's got a way to uh, color numbers. So you can come in here and give it to your kid or do something in your spare time to mess with colors. What's going to happen when I run this is it's going to open this up, create a PDF and then save it um, and then close the document. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hit this run button on the process automation and see what that looks like. So I'll hit run here and we'll pull that folder back up so you can see it happen real time. We should see the file get created. There it is, numberscoloringbook.pdf. And if I open that PDF, you'll be able to see um, it's on my other screen you'll be able to see the details of that particular Word document converted to a PDF. So that did exactly what we wanted it to, exactly what I told it to. And if you look here, when you run these um, in the RPA Studio, I get little uh, logs for how long it took. So I've got four seconds for that one, one second to export it to a PDF. So Word took a little bit longer to open. And then here at the end, it took zero seconds to actually end. And then I can clear the log if I want to and, um, and be done. So that's it for now. So I've done my first automation. I'm trying to think of the ultimate super cool use case for RPA Hub. My brain's getting there. I've got some ideas. Um, this is actually building on one of them related to creating PDF documents that someone might have to do manually. I have to do that manually myself. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.